Welcome back to Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Three laps complete, beginning lap four. Battle here for second between Combs and Pombo on the inside. Yeah, Pombo wants to get after Rampelberg because he's starting to get away and he's got to go after him. Justin Piscatel up to fourth now. Earlier we saw Danny Sullivan, the Formula One IndyCar veteran, spin his car going under the bridge and down to the right-hander right in this section. And Elliot, you've driven a lot of different race cars. Danny hasn't raced a lot lately. Here's another look at the spin. How hard is it to get used to these cars? Well, you know, they're not that easy because you have no downforce in them. But, you know, Danny shouldn't be spinning in a place like that. You would think that something happened. Whoa, it's coming apart on him, too. Well, Danny Sullivan here for a very special cause. Todd Lewis caught up with him earlier in the weekend. For the fourth straight year, Mazda has provided the opportunity for a racer to help raise funds for the Monterey County SPCA. Special guest this year, former Indy 500 winner Danny Sullivan is getting back behind the wheel. People have been coming in to be part of Danny's pet crew, and yeah. I know this is a charity that's near and dear to your heart and your wife as well, who also is on the board for this SPCA. Well, that's right. We, we, all the SPCAs are independent of one another, so you have to raise funds where we are. We're quite big here with all the wildlife, the birds, everything, horses, so forth, and with the downturn in the economy, particularly bad. So it's, it's a challenge to raise the money we need. The community is very supportive here. And uh, Mazda very kindly said, well, if you'll do this, we'll make a big donation for the SPCA. And everybody's been tremendous about it. We have a number of rescue dogs ourselves, and uh, uh, so it's very special. Great to see you behind the wheel again to kind of get some of the old competitive juices flowing. Uh, it is, but, you know, it's tough because, these, you know, most of these kids are racing these things all the time, and they're a lot younger. And, uh, you know, there's a knack to, to any uh, one make formula. There's always a knack to how you drive them and so forth. And uh, you know, the last couple of cars I've driven here didn't have this sort of power to weight ratio. So, uh, uh, so it's adapting to it. But it, you know, they're great guys. A couple of my teammates have given checks for 500 bucks to the SPCA, which was very generous of them. And everybody's been tremendous. It's made me feel very uh, welcome here. Uh, but I think today I got my work cut out for me. It's very well, competitive. Thanks to Mazda, the Monterey County SPCA gets a big donation, and we always get a big plus having you back behind the wheel. Great to have you here, Danny. Thank you. It's great to be here. And an indication, I think, Elliot Forbes Robinson, of how big this series is and how much support Mazda provides. It is. And Mazda helps not only the causes like this, but they help all the drivers and everything. It's great. And they say your pet sometimes starts to look like you or vice versa. I'm not sure about Lionel Kent and the dog named Lionel there. I, I, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, back to action. Five laps on the board. Lionel Kent not yet in the chase, although he was the winner last time out over at Road Atlanta. Right now, we got a great battle up front between your race leader, Brad Rampelberg. Second belongs to Matt Pombo, Jesse Combs, Justin Piscatel. They've started to open up a little gap on the rest of the field. They have. They're going very well, but Matt Pombo still seems to have the speed and is able to start closing up on Rampelberg, and they seem to be pulling away. But, you know, we got the guys up there with Piscatel and Rampelberg and Pombo now. Our points guys are going to be up front. Up under the Bosch Bridge, heading up to one of the left-handers, takes you up toward turn six, and then the corkscrew here at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Not a really long racetrack. Piscatel here putting a lot of pressure on Jesse Combs up the hill off of turn six toward the corkscrew. Maybe a good passing opportunity. Let's get more from Pit Road. Let's check in with Todd Lewis. Jason, we saw Danny come in. What happened to the car, and what did you tell him? Yeah, he got involved in a little bit of contact uh, that actually a couple of our drivers have. It looks like uh, everybody's driving pretty aggressively out there right now. So we're, uh, you know, we're just uh, waiting to see what's going on, what's going to happen with any of this stuff. Hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully everybody behaves themselves the race. But uh, Danny was a little upset when he came in here. It shows he still got that competitive uh, side, and uh, which is really, really neat to see. He's been enjoying to work with this weekend. It's a great opportunity Mazda put together. So unfortunately, he's. Uh, Got a lot of ground to make up now, but the uh, car seems fine. He just had an off. Yeah, you know, it seemed like the way he lost it, where he lost it, that he was tagged by somebody just a little bit. Jacked up a little going into that corner, maybe helped a little help getting turned around. On the front straightaway here at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Under the bridge at start finish. It's the battle for third. Combs in the red 77. Piscatel in the DAMG Motorsports 89 car running third. Leaders are nose to tail as well. A couple of good battles here. There is, and you know, that turn two is tough because the fact is, is you really want to stay wide entering into it, but if you do, you open up the inside for the guy behind you, so you have to take a little bit of a defensive line there. 
Fifth place car, Mark Carpenter's moved up a couple of spots in that 14. He's from Charlotte, North Carolina, the GGS Technical Publications entry. It's a, a new team coming together this season. New entry, Carpenter in the series. Been very impressive so far. He's been fast. He's, he's had some issues, but uh, he has been quite fast in the car. And with, uh, you know, we've got a lot of new guys in the series that are all doing quite well and driving really clean. St I was going to say staying on the road and doing good, and he drops a wheel. But anyway, <laughs> they, they are doing a good job. On board here with Matt Pombo, race leader is Brad Rampelberg up ahead as they head to the top of the hill. Elliot looks like he might get him here going into the corkscrew. Yeah, it looked like Rampelberg dropped the wheel at the outside of the road there and didn't get the drive up the hill. So Pombo takes over. Rampelberg leads Combs and Fiscatel. We'll be right back at Mazda Raceway. 